Good Sunday morning, everyone. Welcome back to Golden Fossman Cafe. Thank you for tuning in. Of course, Becky's with me, as always. I'm sorry, my phone went off. That's okay. <laughs> whatever. whatever. So we're going to be covering a bunch of different things. Uh, hopefully this is a good episode. We've been struggling a little bit with, with coming up with ideas. Uh, we're losing fuse. I'm not really sure what's going on there. Um, I don't know. But we'll just keep bashing on. Bashing on as we always do. Do you realize this is our seventh, I believe our seventh episode? That means we've been doing it for seven weeks. Seven weeks, Holy which is really cool. And thank you everyone for tuning in. Thank you to all the new subscribers and sharing your comments. Uh, if you noticed that recently, well, before Christmas, we had, if I hit a thousand likes and a thousand comments or views, I was going to give away a hundred dollar Amazon card. So that's kind of starting to pick up. That really never hit. I'm not really sure, um, but it's going to keep going. It'll keep going until we finally hit it, and then I'll give it away. It's the struggles are real on YouTube, but anyhow, let's get right into it. What are we going to be covering today? We're going to be covering new in the bin, no more Facebook. Yeah, we're done with Facebook, and I'll go into that why. A uh, question regarding storage and. And different sleeves for 45s, which is pretty cool. They're out on the market now, and I'll share because we had a viewer email me, and he wanted to know how do I, what do I store them in, what do I, what do I protect them with, and also Amazon pre-orders. Are they really worth it? But let's get right into it right now. New in the bin. Now I have quite a bit, but I'm not going to show them all because it would take way too long, way too long. <laughs> but you got two things. Yeah. You're more conservative of a buyer. You're, you're uh, when it comes to looking for things, you're not as obsessive like me. I just got to grab everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I got things in my bin down here that I don't even know if I'm going to like. Can I give you guys a little secret? He'll buy stuff and he doesn't even know who they are, what they sound like. He just has them in here. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do. You'll pick up and be like, oh, I like this guy. And then you'll be actually, I've never heard of them in my life, but I like them. And be like, eh, what does uh, that mean? Well, like, what is that? Maybe I heard them before. No, honestly, I have no idea. Exactly. No. Like, the other day, well, sometimes you'll get free stuff and you just keep it and that's whatever. But yeah. you'll just buy some stuff just to buy. Well, yeah. Like, I'll show you the first first one here. Oh, where is it? This one here. Hopefully it's not glaring. I have no idea who these people are. My point being. They well, look cool. It looks cool. Anti-flag. Mobilize. I think it's some kind of album. I think it's punk. I, I, I do too. I really do. Like, I think it's... I haven't listened to it yet, but look. 100% punk, you can tell. And it's got 911 for peace. Ooh, I'm looking at the lyrics for that. What's the difference? We want to be free. No bloodthirsty corporations. <laughs> it's a hundred percent punk rock. Oh uh, well, yeah. Okay, okay. Point taken. I do buy stuff that I have no idea sometimes, but this was cheap and it was at at a. Uh, Wait, what's the description? Uh, what's the description? On September tenth, two thousand one. I was thinking this has something to do with nine eleven. So okay, yeah. Point taken. I mean, I I do buy some things, but but this one was. Uh, I took your mom out last night at the Amy Street Cafe oh, for Valentine's really Day. Well, we're taping this on Saturday, so you can have it on Sunday. So Friday, I took her out, and then I had them there. I was like, well, I'll get that. I'll get that. So, okay, point taken. Show, show us your stuff. We went to the big city a while ago, and when we we're there, I got this thing that I've never seen before. Actually, I think I gotta get closer because yeah, it, it's a cassette get up tape. There. Um, I've always kind of collected the cassette tapes, but this one's really cool. Check it out. Oh, clear. 
Oh, here we go. So yeah, I'm a huge Stranger Things fan, so I found this, and but here's the cool part, right? I've never seen a cassette that has like a slide thing. Actually, promotion times, uh, there were singles put out on cassettes that uh, had one song on each side, and that's what they put them in. Wow. So here's the cool part. So the actual case itself, from the show, they have like this walkie-talkie thing. So that's the actual case, but yeah, so I don't know. I found it really interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I found it really cool. It's not the actual like song songs that artists put it, but it's like just the soundtrack itself. It still sounds really cool. I like it. And this is Stranger Things 3. Season 3, yeah. Season 3. They're coming out with season 4. Yeah, they just dropped the trailer, Dad. You have to see the trailer. Oh, really? Hopper's alive. They really? showed him. Yeah, they showed him. He's working it for the Russians. Oh, they kidnapped him. Yeah, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. It's so uh, good. I got into it, so I watched the whole Stranger Things twice, and then I got him into it. Now he really likes it, too. We binge-watched it for how long? Oh, I don't know. Oh, man. Then I got my little I caught, cousin into uh, it, and she's binge-watched it three times. I'm getting everybody into it. Okay. Okay. Moving on to your next album. This is, this is, here. Oh, here you go. I was so excited about this one. Ready? Ready? Y'all know I'm a huge Green Day fan, so I got their newest one, Father of All, and it's really cool, and it sounds awesome. I've listened to the whole soundtrack, like, soundtrack, the whole album, album like, many times. It's definitely different, but I wanted to talk about this, because we were discussing this the other day. Yes, because we've seen a video on, online that uh, there were a couple videos of reviews, and one guy gave it a zero. A zero. Like... What's going on here? Uh, obviously, they listen to the sound. Yeah. Obviously, it's different sound. Yeah, it's not going to be the same as their very... F <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, my voice died. As their very first one, or Dookie, because the times are changing. That's right. But what can you say about this album that still says, hey, this is punk, this is still Green Day and the Rebellion. Mm -hmm. What can you say like about this particular album? So though the instrumental part doesn't quite have the same anarchy and grunge, I get well I wouldn't say grunge, but anarchy and yeah. roughness, it's a little upbeat. It's not when it comes to punk with these guys, it's not always with the sound, it's the lyrics. A lot of people don't actually listen to the lyrics of what's being said, but in the lyrics with Green Day, especially in any punk band, there's always a message. So if you listen to it, there's a message. So some of these songs are love songs, some of these are just whatever party, and then some of these are actually calling the times out. You know, I, I like Green Day too, but I don't have any of their records in my collection because Becky already has them, so why would I buy a whole whack? Uh, if I want to listen to them, I can listen to them. Well, I, I hear them almost every day, anyhow, so I don't really need them. My perspective on this album is, yes, the sound's different, but it still has their their twist on it. It's still yeah. their message. It's still their lyrics. It still gets the point across, and it's really connecting with the younger people. So if you're looking for uh, something that, you know, dookie or whatever, no, you're not going to find it. But the but it still has that same structure there. Mm -hmm. It's the lyrics and everything. If I were to, or maybe you can answer this, what would you compare this album to versus one of their other albums? A modern day American Idiot album. I could see that. Could you see the them actually? Well, weren't they talking about yeah, that? Actually, they wanted to call this American Idiot number two. Yeah. Well, the reason why I call say this because. Before I even learned this, I'll throw in some facts. Before I learned this, all I could hear when I was listening to some of the songs, I was like, whoa, these sound like some of the songs off American Idiot. And I read the comments and everybody saying that. And then I watched this thing and learned. Before they called it Father of All, they wanted to call it American Idiot Part 2, Father of All. And then they wanted to extend it, but due to uh, certain circumstances, they weren't right. allowed to do that for radio yeah. reasons. And then they just decided to cut off the American Idiot Part 2 part. And that's why, when you look at it, you could see... This right here is from American Idiot, the arm with the oh, hand grenade. Yeah. So that's yeah, originally... Yeah, there's the, the arm hanging on to the heart uh, yeah. grenade Yeah, so they wanted something. to call this part two, but then they changed it. Because what Billy was doing, he actually designed this himself. He had the American Idiot album, and he just kind of took some glue. This is just glue he wrote it, and he drew the unicorn, and then this is his handwriting. He just went up the arm and scribbled all over it. 
And then they're like, hey, this is cool. And they went with that. Wow. And the one, they have three outs, three different final, uh, colored final out. So. This thing's bright. This is bright. This is neon pink. Yeah. Pink. And if you look at the unicorn, there is no horn because your spindle becomes that horn. It's really cool. I realized it when I put it on. I was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this comes into our pre-order stuff. Yeah. Let's jump right into that before I move on to some of the things that I picked up. You have no more that you picked up. No, I don't. So pre-order. We pre-ordered through Amazon. They have the the clear splatter yes. one. Yeah. Now the thing is with Amazon, you can pre-order pretty well any album on the release date that the artist says they're going to put it out. But here's the thing. I would say 75% of the time, they don't even have the albums. I don't think they do. Because we pre-ordered that and they changed the date. Almost a month and a half after release date. Yeah, because I remember um, I was checking up on it and I seen that you pre-ordered it and it was supposed to come in on the 7th of February, which was the same release date for everybody else. Right. They were supposed to get it. Uh, or at least it was supposed to be shipped out and be within that time right. range. I checked it literally a couple hours later of that the same day and stuff, and it said it wasn't coming out till April 23rd or something like that. Isn't that so crazy? Like, so what I did was I canceled that order, went to Green Day's website, picked out the album, and that's actually coming. It's in the mail. But we got tired of waiting. We were in Halifax. You picked up this, but yeah. the other one is going to be the splatter one. Yeah. That's coming in, and you can have that for your collection <laughs> as well. So we're going to have two of them. So pros and cons of pre-ordering. Obviously, if you're ordering through Amazon, <laughs> keep in mind, prices are going to be good. They all, always advertise when something pre-orders coming out that is going to be cheaper. The moment I canceled that and then went back into it, I said, well, what if I ordered it again now that it's already out? What's going to happen? What's the price going to happen to it? The price shot up. If you can stick out, stick through it with Amazon, just talking to Amazon strictly here, you can definitely get a guarantee of the price being cheaper. But when you're in a record store all the time, you're seeing them, it's, it pisses, pe pisses me off. When I walk into the record store and we see the record that we pre-ordered on Amazon and it's already in the record store. Yeah, that's what happened to me in Hellfest. That happened with me. Uh, oh, what was the other artist's? A Beth Hart. Beth Hart album. Pre-ordered it. Actually, they canceled it on me. Which was ridiculous. I, I don't know what happened there. I hate to say it, even my favorite artist of all time, Neil Young order through his website and because it came with a poster and it, the, the album was already in the store but by the time I freaking got the thing mm -hmm. so pre-orders are pfft, really not working out for me personally I do have James Taylor's newest album on pre-order through Amazon uh, because the record stores around here don't get this kind of stuff I have to go, I'll go 150 kilometers away to get get these uh, albums if I want to go to a record store and uh, it's for $25 and I know damn well that when it comes into the record store it's going to be a $35 album so uh, pros you can guarantee that the price on pre-orders is going to be good but if you can't wait for it don't pre-order because it won't be here by the release date I can almost guarantee you 99% of the time it will not. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing worse than seeing something that's three or four months in advance being pre-ordered and they can't even get it out to you. And it's because they don't have it. They have to wait for the record company to send it to them so they can ship it out to people. Pros though, because we already said pros, one was the price. If, not talking about Amazon now, if you go to the website of the artists through the record uh, company or whatever, you have a chance of getting, in the first little bit of pre-orders, signed merchandise. Really? Yes. Because I have Sass Jordan pre-ordered. 
she signed, signs a limited amount. So if you're into the merchandise kind of things and you're into the bundle packages, like you make a t-shirt, make a download card, CD, poster, or something, or signed, that definitely is worth going that route if you go through the artist's website. Now with Garth Brooks, his stuff was higher. These box sets were higher if you went through his website because he wanted you to go to Amazon and other record stores and stuff like that before buying from his personal website, which was different. I've never seen anything like that before, but maybe it does happen all the time that way. They want you to buy outside of their website. I don't know. Let's jump back into uh, New in the Bin. You've seen the baggies there. I'm gonna show a couple here. I've been showing a lot of Reba McIntyre. This is a 25th anniversary one of uh, when she came out with this, this anniversary, uh, anniversary, read my mind, really nice album. I'm gonna go through these quick. That's probably one of her uh, better known ones. I got two of these picked up. This is Stomp and Tom Connors. Why do you have two? Why do I have two? Because one was really cheap and I wanted to get it so that I can send one of these out as a GSP to a lucky person, oh. right? Because I've heard a couple of the people on our Instagram saying, well, they don't have, they don't have it and they really like it. Uh, Stompin' Tom Connors, great Canadian, sings folk music. This is a really funny album. Uh, it also has on here the catch-up song. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. And it's on Boot Records. Uh, I believe that's Stompin' Tom's uh, his label right and uh, yeah uh, someone's gonna be happy to get that uh, uh, I'm pretty sure I know who I'm gonna give it to let's see what else is in here oh picked up one of these now I got this out of uh, I had this already this is Janice Joplin but because there she is there I was gonna say why do I recognize her All right but this is Big Brother and the holding company this is her first band, wherever that oh. she performed with. I have uh, a repress of this in a box set that we I featured in an earlier video a ways back, but I had a chance to pick this up at a reasonable price. One of the early pressings. We got, I keep swinging here. I know, the chairs are uh, like weird. This is, I believe it's German. This is Sunny Days Starry Nights with Sunny Roland. It's really cool because look at the chair that he's uh, sitting in. I was going to say, that chair is freaking awesome. It's very 90s hip hop. I was going to say that. <laughs> I was going to say that, but this is not from the 90s. Really? No. It reminds me of something off of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. This is from 1984. Really? Yeah. I was going to say that too. It's so ahead of his time. It's 1984 <laughs> and it reminds me of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I mean, look at this chair. That chair. And, is... and... I want that chair. Can we make that chair? I don't know. <laughs> Let's just have this random chair in the corner. <laughs> a random chair. And I got this here. This is a metal band. Oh. Kings of the Sun. I've heard of them. I don't know what they sound like, but I've heard the name. I believe they're from Australia. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think they're from Australia. I put a picture of this on my Instagram account that Maybe I was playing it. From. And the original drummer messaged back and said thanks for the for the rap. Raph. I yeah I don't. Oh, that might be their way of saying shout out or something. Shout out, right? So That's that was so cool. cool. This is to the first album that they put out. They put out several more after. When was this released? After this, this is in the eighties, obviously. Really? Yeah. Wow. I really. I don't know. know. I'm you also put me on so the spot excited. here. This is nineteen eighty eight. Nice. Nineteen eighty eight. It's a good year. I always wanted this album, The Beach Boys. Wait, really? Yeah, this particular Endless Summer. Every time I see it, if I see it in a thrift store, it was like crap. It was mm -hmm. like banged up. Mm -hmm. This is the original uh, pressing that they put out in, on Capital Orange Record, first first issue. The I didn't think you liked the Beach Boys. Yeah. I do, and I keep mistaking the Beach Boys with Bee Gees. How? Are you doing that too? No, but no. how do you do that? I don't know. There's such a broad difference. I don't know. It comes from that time time frame. 
<laughs> and check this out. You go from metal to country. <laughs> That's such a G freaking jump, man. Uh, Randy Travis. I have other Randy Travises, but I never see this one. This is uh, uh, pretty close to the 90s, so no holding back. He looks really young there. Yeah. I'll show you one more. One more. Songs of Canada with Tom, Jim, and Garth, the Scotians. Folk music again. I really like the, the the colors of this. Just gonna say that the past three episodes, you've always had some sort of Canadian, mainly Nova Scotia man. Yeah, the. This, I just kind of noticed this. This is on Banff Records. These guys were back in the day, and they were really popular. They were ahead of their time at the time, and like they sang farewell to Nova Scotia. You're just laughing at me on this one. <laughs> no, what did they say? I thought they. Yeah, Farewell Nova Scotia, Song for Canada, you know Farewell to No. Farewell Nova Scotia, no, you know that song. No, I don't. Oh my god. But anyhow, here we go. These guys were ahead of their time at the time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but they went on to a lot of TV shows and stuff. They, they were very patriotic Canadian style way. What does that even mean? Patriotic is a term used when Americans are proud of their country. Can't we be patriotic? I don't know. I've always been taught that it's just an American term, but I oh, could be wrong. I don't know. Do we have a... The Scotians are patriotic to Scotia. Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where any of them are anymore. I don't know, but uh, I, I like the patriotic term. I think we you Canadians can be patriotic. Okay, moving on to sleeves. I love these sleeves, and I've been upgrading your sleeves. What do you think of them? I like them a lot better than what I have. They're a lot clearer. Yeah. So we had a email from an individual about, I think it was 8 inch, 10 inch, the different style uh, sizes, 45s and stuff like that. Uh, how can he store them? I can't really answer that question because I don't really collect 45s. These are all that I have, and I got this little box here from... Uh, uh, where was it? Michael's. And it fits really nice, but the cover can't fit on top of it. Let us know in the comments what you guys use. I would assume that you could use a, because these are so small, bookshelf. Not so much these. These are too deep. These Kia shelves are too deep. But I think a bookshelf could do. And you put different levels. Now I use Final Storage Solutions. It's a Canadian company so happy so happy that it's Canadian because all my other sleeves I was getting from the United States and stuff so these sleeves there's a couple different kinds for your for your 45s they're dual pockets the ones that I got this one here has a flap on the bottom so if you see here we got two flaps on the side and what you can do is I'll just take this one for example, you fit it in one side like this, right? So it's like this, and then you could tuck in the other side in here like that, so it'll be on the bottom. And then you have a pocket here to put your record in as well, and then you fold it over like that. That's one style that he has and I'll put a link down below but the one I really like is this one here this is a dual pocket as well but it doesn't have the flaps on either side it has one side so I'll show you what I mean it has adhesive on the bottom that's going to seal this puppy in there I'm going to take this record out. So I want to protect this. I want to keep this forever. I never want to touch it again. And I put it in there. And then I peel this, peel this piece off here like that. And then I fold this over. And that seals him in there. So that's sealed in. That will protect that. Super clear. But the thing is with 45s, um, 
that just got rid of the sleeve for the inside. But these, I don't think will scratch or damage. They're very smooth or whatever. So I'm just going to slide it in like that. It can't be any different. So that's the dual pocket, the other side. It cannot be any worse than having it in the paper sleeve, I guarantee you. So that takes care of that one. You could do that with all of these. These are the another kind, but they're not by them. These are the ones that we replace all of them. Like your collection, they all faded. Your your yours all went weird, but once we upgraded them all, they all became like brand new again. Yeah, I don't know what was up with that. It's really weird. So here we go. Here's one here and the outside jacket is on the outside, uh, outside sleeve. You can't get to it unless you peel this part underneath here. But then the top, it just comes out like that. So these are really, really good. There's other, so you got the ones that have no adhesive so you can get easy access to the jacket on one side and the record on the other side. And these just fold on the inside. It has them in different sizes. These are the 45s. This is one here. I think these are like record store day ones. Smaller ones. I'm not really sure. I've never seen those before. And he also has the bigger ones. If you don't like the adhesive uh, that, that seal the records up, you can fold over as well and flip in. But my favorite are, are the ones with adhesive. Also, if you don't want the dual pocket ones, he has the single sleeves. So if you don't like the idea of having your records uh, in the dual pocket and you still want to just like the records, so you just want a single sleeve, you just, this is a single sleeve, right? And then you have here, you just tuck this over like that. There we go. So then this is just a single sleeve with a little flap here. There's no adhesive to it. Sits in there nicely like that. This is a four mil, comes in two mil as well. He also has out uh, these beautiful inners. I've never seen ones like that before. These are really nice. I have some that are in my collection now, but I do a lot of MoFi. But if you're looking for sleeves, inner sleeves, these are highly recommended. I put these up there along with the MoFi sleeves. I really do. I really do. He has all kinds of different options for different style. He got the dual pocket with the two flaps or with the adhesive to seal in your jacket on different sizes, three different sizes. You can get them in the singles or the duals. Lots of options. Check out his website. Thank you for sharing the question. As far as storage wise, I don't really have an expertise on that because I don't really collect them. But as far as sleeves, definitely check out Final Storage Solution. They are the best, in my opinion. I finally got my collection with all of them. Your collection is with all of them. Highly recommend it. And I was able to do a comparison for a year already. Your collection, I was using as a test test subject. Your collection had all of the typical sleeves that were from like this cloudy kind for a year. Mine had theirs for a year. Yours went faded completely. Mine stayed the same. Mine looked brand new. So this is the way, in my opinion, and maybe a little bit more expensive, but you can get the uh, two mil, which is a little bit cheaper, and he has promotions all the time. So check them out. Trust me, you will be happy. And they can send you a package. Uh, I think he's still doing uh, sample packages he'll send to you. If not, I'm sorry, but I think he's still doing them. And you can try them out for yourself for free. Facebook. Facebook. I gave up on that. I really did. Yeah. Reason being, it was taking up too much of my time and it wasn't really, I didn't think it was beneficial mm -hmm. at all. 
I started looking into Instagram. Follow us on Instagram. Instagram's Amazing great. platform. I I'm going to be posting at least twice every single day. Twice is a good thing. Twice is a good yeah, thing. Yeah, because you don't... I'll give everybody a little... Don't go overboard. Instagram, their algorithm, they look for consistency. The more consistent... Like, if you can post every day at the exact same time, they will throw you on the uh, feed page, like, for other people when they're just scrolling through browsing. On top, because the more consistency, that's what they like. They like consistency. Okay, yeah, because you warned me, because I went one day, I went ten, ten posts. And, <laughs> and then you were just dead for like a week, and it's like, no, 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 no. Do it most two I'm an old three. Guy. I don't know what I'm doing. I was like, no, oh, look, I know. Look, I got all these pictures on my phone. Post, 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 yeah, post. Yeah, no, I have an art page with a bunch of followers, so I kind of figured out how it works a bit. And so, at most, you want at most three. Uh, either in a row or throughout the day. Yeah. But don't go overboard. You want so I'm the more consistency, the more the interaction. Three. I'm yeah. doing two to three. That's I a did good one thing. this morning. And it's usually so that's my new platform. That's my new platform outside of YouTube. I'm using that because I really liked connecting with the pe with people that were following us, but I wasn't getting the satisfaction out of it. Mm -hmm. Right? You know? And they weren't notifying me. You, Facebook wasn't notifying me when people said stuff on my page. That's what I like about Instagram. I, I get notified all the time. It's great. And I can connect with people. Mm -hmm. And I love taking pictures. I love doing photos of things that I'm spending. Mm -hmm. Some of the things I showed today, I already showed people on Instagram. Yeah, that that's was... the other thing with YouTube versus Instagram. A lot of YouTubers will post pre-stuff rather than what they come out with. Yeah. So, no more Facebook. It, I'm so sorry. I, I know I had 300 followers. Uh, you know, if you're on Facebook, Instagram is owned by Facebook. Yeah. So, go, go over to, uh, or if you used to be on there, I'm never coming back. <laughs> My God. I'm, I'm so violent. Yeah. <laughs> Aggressive. But I'll probably come back on a personal level but yeah not you completely got rid of it on everything on everything i yeah. might come back with my own personal yeah you me yeah but gold fun spin cafe yeah. will never be on oh my god this is gonna be held against me <laughs> <laughs> yeah it will never be should say it shouldn't say never at the moment there you go will not be back on facebook, facebook. but we are on and truly enjoying the Instagram experience. I love Instagram. Yeah, it's really so good. So come check us out on there and follow us. Follow us. Yeah, mm. just follow us. <laughs> You'll see lots of photos. Lots of photos. Photos say a hey, thousand hey, words. Hey, hey, I don't think you know this, but on, well, you can do it on Facebook too, but it's more fun on Instagram because it's better interaction. On Instagram, on your story page, you can go live. We can go live with people. We're going to do that sometime. I know. That's exactly why I mentioned it. I'm learning. I'm learning. Old guy learning from you. We'll, I'll get the Instagram thingy going. Yeah, you know? I have a lot of friends that have many followers and do, like, professional stuff on Instagram. Like, they're... Ooh, I have one that's, like, 6,000 followers. It's really big. So, I'm getting their tips. My friends give me tips to give you tips and stuff. So, yeah. I kind of know away. how this, yeah, Tip I know how this away. Instagram thing works. So we're kind of all over the place today, but we're going to finish this episode off. Uh, we'll see you next, next Sunday, uh, same time, same place, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Halifax time. Uh, I think that's how it comes across I on YouTube. I it was time. No. No, it's Atlantic time, yeah. but Halifax Atlantic time. But this is the thing. Uh, uh, we've been losing followers, losing some interest in our episodes. So let us know in the comments what you think of our current uh, shows uh, and what we could improve on, things you like to see more of and things you like to see less of. We do this for you guys and we want to uh, uh, enjoy doing it for you guys. We want you to enjoy watching what we're doing. So let us know in the comments all your opinions. No opinion will hurt uh, our feelings. That's just the way it is, right? Opinions help you grow. So thank you for watching Golden Final Spin, and we'll see you next time, next Sunday. So remember, keep spinning. Bye!